When we first became Christians, we quickly came to the realization that Jesus is not only our Savior, but our Lord too. He's our King. In modern days, we often forget the powers earthly kings had back then. A king could pretty much do what he liked. If he was angry at someone, he could simply have them killed. No court trial, nothing. It's scary. The king was all-powerful and people could only hope he would be merciful to them. Jesus had all those powers and much, much more. But thankfully there's one big difference. We know he loves us and is righteous, fair and gracious. Perhaps you remember the hymn called, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. But is that true? Can someone as powerful as Jesus really be my friend? Isn't it somehow improper for, me to, for someone like me to call him my friend? After all, he is the King of Kings and the Sovereign of all the universe. Aren't we all just his servants? In John 15, Jesus answered this question. Here's what he said. You are my friends if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for a servant does not understand what his master is doing. But I've called you friends because everything I've learned from my father I've made known to you. Isn't that just amazing? When we love God and adopt his missionary heart in full obedience to Jesus, he elevates us from being mere servants to becoming his friends. A colleague of mine often says, Jesus has many servants, but fewer friends. With all my heart, I want to be Jesus' dedicated servant. But even more, I want to be his friend forever.